what up what up welcome back to the channel i'm odi jay and we are locked in today is the last day the five day recap of the cage on netflix and taylor well i don't know how he's feeling since we know that boss is in a coma he didn't got stabbed up we don't know if he's gonna make it or not we still gotta figure out how to get that money from mom it's just a lot going on and we still got ibrahim talking that mess we got to take this guy out one way or another but before we jump into this and break down episode five and wrap this on up if you like this kind of content watching the grit to the grind making something out of nothing a miniature love story mma fighting then the cage on netflix might be for you hit that subscribe button turn on your notification bell so you get something every time i upload make sure you hit that like button and let's get ready to go ahead and jump into episode five because we got to figure out is taylor going pro or is Taylor just going to sit around and be stuck in his city trying to make it? This is episode five, The Cage. Starting off the last episode, three months have passed since the stabbing of Boss at this underground fight club. Now, Bilal and Nico, they come over and they're saying that Boss is in a coma. I won't say he's stable, but he's in a coma. And now, well... It looks like Ibrahim, he's online talking that crap again. And they're saying that they may have found a potential person that stabbed Boss. And they're saying that they've seen him before. He's been in Ibrahim's entourage. Now also, they know that Boss had some information on Ibrahim and he notified him that night after Taylor disqualified himself. Now this information comes because Ibrahim used to fight at the club that Boss owns. And Bilal tells him one night we were there and a woman came in that was assaulted by Ibrahim and his crew. And that's the information that he sent. Them. So that's why Ibrahim got nervous once he got that voice message from Balls. Now Bilal is saying, we can't let this slide. You gotta get focused. You gotta defend, you gotta defend not only Balls, but the club and all of us. Cause Ibrahim was running around here acting like a madman. Now, he just got done fighting in this underground fight club. I know he's nervous, but of course, he wants to stand up for his friends and make something happen. Now, Boss made a promise to Taylor before he got stabbed up that he has somebody special that wants to work with him. Now, Elena comes over and he's saying, I got to do this because I promised Dallas, a.k.a. Boss, that I would make this happen. So they hug each other. And of course, she wants the best for him, but hopefully... He's in a condition where he's really ready to get back in this ring, be focused, and fight. Now, this booking comes with the coach for John Jones. If you don't know about John Jones, you need to go check his resume. He actually just won last weekend or the weekend before, and he did the Donald Trump dance. But he flies out to Mexico from Perry, and he's meeting up with John Jones's actual trainer and coach. And you know, this is about to be real intense. You got to fly out the country. And he's taking time out of his day because he promised Dallas this is huge. Hopefully, Taylor can make the best of this. After he meets up with John Jones's coach, later on that night after the first day of training, he calls B Lau. He's just leaving a message to everybody. Hey, I made it. But he's also saying, I don't think if I can go through with this because he still got PTSD when he's going to sleep. He's still thinking about that vicious elbow that took him out. So right now, it's just kind of wild for him. Of course, he wants to do this. But it's tough. So the next morning, he goes and tells coach, listen, I'm, I'm deeply gracious for everything that you guys done. I appreciate that, but I don't think I'm a fighter no more. I don't think I can withstand this anymore and go through it. And the coach is saying, well, if that's really how you feel, I respect it. We can get you booked up and get you to go ahead and leave on out of here. But it was nice meeting you, and I wish the best for you. Now, it's sad to see Taylor go out like this because he's still trying to help his mom. He really wanted to fight. We followed him this far just for him to give up on it all. Well, when he leaves, Coach got a Escalade book for him so he can go straight to the airport, Uber Black. When he hops in, there's a gentleman up front and he's talking to him. You're really going to give up? You're really just going to walk away from all of it like this? And Taylor's sitting back, to him, yeah, I got you, but that voice sounds familiar. And the guy in the front seat turns around, it's actual John Jones. So John Jones says, before you really think about quitting, won't you take this ride with me? Let me go and show you something and see if we can get that fire back up under you before you step away from the game. He takes Taylor to another boxing ring, another gym. And when he gets in here, 
He's telling them about the eye of the tiger. He's telling them, look at all these people. Unlike you, they're fighting for survival. They got that dog in them. They doing this because this is their last resort. So he took them away from the big fancy gym where you just had anyone signing up to train. Oh, John Jones is coach. Okay, good. So he took them to the actual fighters, the people that are trying to make a name for themselves, trying to climb up from the bottom. And now Taylor is starting to understand what the eye of the tiger means. You got to get that fire back. So he put Taylor in the ring. We got four people, round one, round two, round three, round four. And it's just going to be Taylor versus all level. You want to get this? You want to be the man? You got to beat the man. So he'll have one person come in. They might just be doing boxing with him. He'll sub them out. The next person to go straight grappling. So it's a gauntlet. It's just boom, boom, boom. Next person, next person, next person. No rest. Because when you get in that ring, you never know what your opponent is going to do to you. So John Jones, he's like, okay, we can work with this. We can work with it. Taylor is getting that PTSD out and that anger. At the end of this training, John Jones believes that Taylor is ready to go. So what he does is leave a glove that's signed to Taylor and boss, John Bone Jones, with a note that says, you're gonna win that fight and you're gonna do it in style. So now Taylor got the confidence and the motivation to actually get in the ring, get focused and get ready to fight the destroyer because we not going out like that. We ain't going out like that a draw and then we back down, no, this trilogy ain't over with. Now it's time to get ready for this fight. Now, usually they have a press conference, a face off before this. Taylor signing, <laughs> he's signing poses and stuff. He famous now, but I was like, yeah, I want you to sign it. But guess what? Ibrahim, before it starts, he says, no, nah, we not doing that. It ain't no face off, none of that. I don't want none of that. I just want to humiliate this guy and destroy him. So Taylor's like, man, he just talking trash again. But he really wanted to have this because he wanted to look his opponent in the eye before he tries to end him. Now, when Taylor gets to his room, he's trying to get focused on the fight. So he leaves his mother a message and says, mom, I got two tickets for you and Regis. Front row, right next to the ring, best seats in the house. You guys can come and pick them up or just message me back and I'll have someone come and drop them off to you. But either way, I want you there. I'm excited and... I'm about to get back to training. I love you. i see you later on tonight. Well, now that boss is in the hospital, we need a coach. Everyone's in here focused. Well, George St. Pierre shows up and he says, if you will have me, I'll be in your corner. Now you see Bilal, he has on a George St. Pierre shirt and he's starstruck. He's like, oh my God. Oh, it's so nice to meet you, man. I've always been a, oh, I'm a cry. I think I'm a cry here. Everyone else is like, Bilal, calm yo, but damn, we need to get focused for this fight. Well, at least we got us a coach now, and we're doing this for boss, 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 boss. Now, Ibrahim, he's ready for the fight. Taylor, he's wondering why he hasn't heard from his mom, and no one knows where his mom is at. So he goes to Nico and is like, Nico, let me get your bike. It's two hours before the fight. He drives all the way home, and when he gets home, he's like, Mom, where you at? I've been calling you. I got tickets for you. He sees that the whole place is empty. He's looking around, what are you guys doing? And he sees a pamphlet that says Mallorca. Now Mallorca is an island off of Spain. And it looks like that's where Isabella and Regis are about to move. He's like, what the hell is going on? What are you guys doing here? Where's the money at? Who do you owe? Well, it turns out that 33,000 that he gave to his mother, they're using that to move. That story about somebody coming over there and whooping on her it was a lie the story is they just wanted that money so they could move regis has been using isabella now regis is the one that punched isabella to make this story seem realistic so now it has taylor like damn my own mom would do this to me and she's talking about you know how hard it is to raise you and you not knowing what bills cost because you don't pay none this is her son he didn't ask to be born you did that so now taylor has all of this on him people are trying to call him he only has about an hour and a half before he fights this is all kinds of bad taylor makes it back he goes in his locker room he gets straight to it he got to warm up let me tell you i used to wrestle so i know how it is before a match starts you got that nervousness but you got to get that nervousness out of there and it's not going to be gone until that bell rings and you actually start 
But to find out that your mama plays you, your mama basically disowned you, is running off with the money that you fought hard for, you got knocked out trying to get 100000 for, I can only imagine the weight on our boy's shoulders. The stare off is going down. They meet in the center of the ring. The ref, all right, listen up, guys. Protect yourself at all times. Listen to my rules. We got three rounds. You guys are going to go at it. You're going to make it happen. Neither one of them are backing down. You hear the destroyer tell me, I'm going to take you out. This is it for you. You're not going to make it out. This is not going to be like the draw in the other one. You're scared. Taylor ain't backing down. Taylor's like, F it at this point. What do I got to lose? My mama done ran off of my bag. Ooh, I'm going to the UFC. I want that belt. Well, once they get in that ring and they get it on, let me tell you, these are two prize fighters. Well, not so much Taylor yet, but they going at it. The destroyer got him down. He almost got him in the arm bar. But remember, he's been learning these moves, how to roll out, tuck and roll. You got to get up out of there. You stop, drop, shut them down, open up shop. They on the ground a lot, but this is what it takes to win. You never know what you're going to get into when you get in this match. Now, at first they were thinking we're going to stand up and do a little bit of boxing, but that ain't work. So being on the ground, that's just what it's going to have to be. Now, let me tell you, Taylor, he's had all the best fighters around the world come and help him. He's got the best trainers. Ibram, he's been doing it on his own. But remember, he's the top ball, top dog out here in Paris. And at the end of the bell, ding, 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 there's a knee to the face. Ibrahim just oh, dirty shot Taylor. Busted his eye all the way open. Now you hear the announcer saying, this is a good chance to quit because if he quits, I won't even call it quitting, but if he quits, Ibrahim will get disqualified and he automatically wins the belt. So technically right now, Taylor, he won this match. They're looking at him like, man, are you good? But he wants to fight. He doesn't want to win off of a disqualification. He wants to fight. Now, when he goes to his corner, the paramedics come in, they looking at it. They be like, all right, he's good to fight. But the ref says, we can't fight with that blood. So whoever their cut guy is, he's gonna have to make the blood stop. The doctor sees, okay, he ain't, he ain't got a concussion. He's all right. The ref sees that the blood stop. He says, okay, y'all can go ahead and fight. George St. Pierre, he's looking at him. He said, all right, if this is what you're gonna do, you're gonna have a blurry eye, but you're gonna have to stick and move. You have to be cautious of what you do in this ring because now he has the advantage, even though he lost one point for the illegal knee to the face. Now, of course, getting back in the ring, he can barely see. He's getting a couple of punches in, though. We got to give him credit for that. He's trying with this one good eye, but he ends up getting knocked down with a kick to the chest. And now everyone's talking about, you got to get up. You got to get up. Man, I'm like, damn, Taylor. This is the final episode, man. You got to get up. You got to make it out of this. He ends up getting up, though, and the fight continues. But that eye, you can tell, is doing his work on him. They get to the final round, and everyone is fatigued. Everyone's tired as hell. It looks like this might be the end for Taylor. Ibrahim, he's even tired. But they're standing up. They're both trying to catch their breath. He's giving it all they got. You heard GSP in the corner telling him, you got to get, hey, you got to get in there. I know you're tired, but this is it. This is what it comes down to these last five minutes. You have to fight. You have to do something because if not, it's all over with. And out of nowhere with 30 seconds left, they tired as hell. They get to the center of the ring. Taylor's breathing hard. Ibrahim's breathing hard. And out of nowhere, a big kick to the face and knocks his ass out. The destroyer has been destroyed. People, the destroyer has been destroyed. If you're looking at the ref's face, the ref's like, oh, yeah, this is over with. The ref jumps in there. He breaks it up. And Taylor wins the match that we needed him to win the most. He went through so much to get here. But he fought through the fatigue, and he got this dub. And at the end, when they give him this belt, oh, man, it's a bittersweet moment. He's saying, I got to show love to Boss. We did this for him. I got to show love to my crew. My lady, George St. Pierre, everybody, we did this. This is just the beginning. Get used to it. My name is Taylor, and I am Taylor May, and I am here to stay. Man, this is a good fight. Once they get into the back, the UFC guy comes in. Everyone's celebrating champagne. 
Tater's like, nah, I want some water. I'm going to the UFC. He gets to kiss the girl. Everything is lovely. This is how you want. This is this is what we all dream of: being successful, overcoming adversity, making something for ourselves. And Taylor, he did it. He did it. Good job, my brother. While everyone is celebrating, Nico comes over like anything but a champ, because now he's playing his role. So when he goes out to get him a bottle of water, we see some doping agents come in just to make sure that no one was taking any illegal substances before this fight, you know, saying to have an unfair advantage. So Nico is saying, hey, he's celebrating. He just got his, he just got his belt. This is his first time. Don't go in there and test him right now. Give him a minute. So they said, okay, we'll go to everyone else. So Nico gets the water. He's like, we're celebrating. But when he goes back in here, he grabs a bottle of water to give to our boy Taylor. And if you look on his hands, it looks like he put something in the water. And that's why he told the guys doing the test, could you hold off for a minute? Let him celebrate. I know he didn't just put no agent in our boy's water. This supplement's probably going to pop and make him hide. We knew Nico. Something was off with Nico. All right, there you go. Episode five. Taylor got the belt. We are good to go. It's a wonderful feeling. But let me know what you think about Nico in this substance. Now, it is confirmed that there is going to be a season two of this. I don't know when it's going to drop, but this was a cool way to end it to tie us into next season. Let me know what you think about the whole show overall. And if there's any other shows on Netflix you want me to recap, let me know. I'll try to check them out. I'm Mode IJ. If you like this kind of content, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching. I'm out. Jimmy on a beat, boy.